Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, we're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. And we also do inspirational segments and we do these Tech Tuesdays to help you guys out there to some of the questions that you've had. Um, we're going to get right into this video here real quick, but uh, before we do, make sure you do like and subscribe and in any of the comments, emails, whatever, put what uh, question you may have, hold up issues, so that way we can make a video that pertains to your question. So. This is uh, in regards to the Canon. We did have some questions about some of the settings and we're gonna be going over uh, what basically what we have in the subject line here about the volume settings in the menu and where to find that menu um, location for those volume settings. And we have talked in other segments about some of the, the other issues and some of the holdups and that's what we'll keep doing uh, in regards to that question and put out short, small segments. So here's your Canon uh, 70D. And then of course, on the back of the Canon 70D, you have your menu. And the question was about finding these volume settings and about adjusting and changing, like if you have an outside microphone or uh, the, the gain if you're not using a microphone. So I'm gonna cover those two questions. Okay, so we're here in the back of the, that's um, kind of like a small example picture, uh, back of the menu that's on the, the back of the camera, you just click on the menu. And you'll see up here where uh, the camera's, you know, in these little boxes and then it'll say sound recording auto. So just go ahead and when you're on your camera, you can either push it or just select it, hit enter. And you can either have it, you know, of course the audio settings for auto, or you can just click on it and then you'll see another screen that comes up and allows you to set the volumes up or down. And that's basically your gain uh, to pick up whatever you're receiving. So no matter if you have an outside mic or if you're using the camera, if you turn that gain up real high, uh, it will actually distort really bad. Um, it may sound good on your camera, it may sound good on your uh, uh, recording if you're listening to it, maybe on a laptop or iPad after you've done it. But as soon as you go into edit or anything like that, it, it sounds terrible. So it, it will be really bad, really distorted, really pitchy, really uh, have a lot of bass to it. So make sure you always do take your time. Um, do some test videos, do some other tests, but that to your question in regards to the gain, do not turn it up all the way if you're trying to pick up uh, something that's far away or what have you. Um, if it is far away, watch our mic uh, video about the best mics to use if you don't have one of those. And if you do have one and you're still wondering, well, should I turn up the gain all the way and you have a microphone? No, I mean, if you can't hear it on your camera and it sounds like it's quiet, um, that can be kind of deceiving uh, if you're listening to it on your camera because it it's, it's picking it up just fine. Uh, because once you go in to edit it, you'll find that you, you just because you thought it was um, you know, sounded really low on your camera and you turn it all the way up and then you go to, you know, listen to it or, or, or do your editing, uh, then it just sounds all distorted. That's why. Uh, so just take your time and listen to it after you're done. So if there's some tests and some other preliminary things, especially if it's, you know, you're doing something that's really important and you only have one shot at doing that, you want to actually have everything all tested and ready to go because you might only have a one shot deal to if you're doing it, you know, a segment on, you know, something that's happening currently right now um, and it's live, you can't redo that. You know, I mean, it's, it's not something you can always redo. Now, if it's a, you know, a segment where you're doing some training or you're doing something um, uh, with somebody one-on-one -on -one and you listen to it and you have that opportunity to re either interview them or re uh, do that segment, that's fine. But you know, it, it takes time and it wastes your time. So just, just take your time, set those gains up how they should be. And it's all in with your audio or depending upon most of the cannons are all the same within their menu settings. You can just go into the sound recording, set your gain up and down. I would say maybe close to half, maybe, a quarter up, especially if you're using microphones, you only set it a quarter up. It's it's not necessary. Here's the problem with that. If, if you feel that you can't hear the person on the microphone or if you're holding the mic, it's because they're holding it too far away. So that's another fix. So 
these are some of the things within the gain and i hope this helps you know you guys have the you know the, many of the questions about the gain so i hope this question helps in regards to the gain side of it we'll be covering other videos within uh, these segments for the camera. Many questions have been asked about the camera and some of the issues and some of the holdups that you guys have had. So that's just the one with the gain. We'll talk about mics, we'll talk about uh, settings within that and other settings within the camera. So we'll see you on the next video.